guys, I'm back with another quick tip, and today I want to just briefly go over something that I picked up from Tom Middleton, and it's a way that you can very quickly and easily kind of alter the sonic character of drum loops uh, when you bring them into Ableton Live. So I've got a couple of drum loops up here, um, and let's listen to the first one. Um, when you by default bring a drum loop in uh, and double click it, you're going to have this window open up. I'm going to put everything back to where it would normally be, and we will play that loop back so you can get a sense of what it sounds like. So you can hear there's a lot of like reverb on the top end, especially on that uh, that clap or that snare hit. And, uh, you know, th this might be uh, something that you would like to remove, especially if you're layering it with another beat, for example. So anyway, here's a tip that I picked up from Tom. Um, if you, when it loads up, go into this section here, and under Transients, you want to go to the drop-down menu and select the arrow running one way, that way there. And then as we play back the loop, I'll play with this transients number here, and you will hear that it pretty significantly alters the way that this loop sounds. So you can hear that it's really taken off all that, you know, really heavy reverb on the top. It's cut off some of the top end there, as well as some of the bottom end. But if you're going to go ahead and load, layer this up with something, this might be exactly what you're after. So I'll, uh, I'll bring it back up to 100% once again so you can hear the difference. And back down. So there's one example. Um, I found that it doesn't uh, significantly alter all drum loops, and so you really just kind of need to play around with it. Um, but I'll play another example here of one that it seems to work well on. So again, this has been brought in, and the default settings are going to be there for beats. You want to go under the transients here and select the forward arrow, and then start playing with your transient level. So you can hear it sort of does a, a little bit of kind of EQing across it, it filtered off the low end, but it also feels like it uh, runs something like a gate on it. Um, and basically what it's doing is just affecting the transients of uh, the individual drum elements and those are obviously going to alter the way the loop sounds if it's a drum beat. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys find that useful. I think it's um, a quick and easy way to alter a loop, especially if you want to layer it up with something else.